Hello, so this is just going to be a quick follow up video to my previous video I done on the USB GD-ROM controller. In this video I'm going to talk about how I've enjoyed the device or how I've felt the device has been over the last 11, 10, 11 months and also the latest firmware. Now, I'll talk about how I've found the device over the last 10, 11 months that I've owned it. Now, I love the device, it worked brilliant. Um, I have GDI images, so I never really needed CDI support. And also you can convert CDI back to GDI. So if I ever wanted a translation of a game, I could just convert it. But how I've liked it is it's brilliant. That's all I can really say is if you love your Dreamcast, you'll buy one of those and you'll also get yourself a Hanzo because the Hanzo is the best VGA box you can buy and then you just get a converter which converts VGA to HDMI and boom, you have brilliant quality. So if you love your Dreamcast, buy one, that's all I'm going to say, they're great. Now, the latest firmware has made the device even better. Now, it's made it more accessible to a lot of people, mainly because GDI files are a gigabyte each and they're a few hundred gigabytes in size to download all of them, let's just say that. And um, whereas CDI images you can download for about 600 megabytes and they're quite easy to find. So the latest firmware added, as I said, CDI support. That means homebrew, uh, game translations, game mods, um, applications, emulators will now all function. Unfortunately, Bleemcast still doesn't work. Um, I only tried the official Bleemcast or the one that's patched to remove disc checks and I tried the one that comes with a PlayStation game on track one. Um, unfortunately those ones don't work, they just black screen after where the PlayStation game would load, they just black screen and nothing happens. So Bleemcast, Bleemcast doesn't work. Um, everything else I've tried has worked oversized CDI files and what I mean by oversized is the you can download the Shenmue 2 English dubbed version and you can get the uncompressed audio version which is one gigabyte per CDI file so that is essentially the Xbox audio and videos uncompressed so the best audio quality you can get and it's the best version to get if you have this device or the competitor's device, I recommend getting that version. Um, obviously if you like the Japanese or Chinese, whatever, I think it was Japanese audio, then stick with that, but I prefer the English audio. Um, the other feature is image swapping. Now, image swapping is allowing you to select multiple images and using the switch that you have to install onto the UGC to cycle through those images. Now what I mean by install is you will have to solder a switch, either a tack switch or attach to some wires so you can have it hanging out the side of your Dreamcast or have it sitting inside the lid or you can attach the lid switch from a GD-ROM CD assembly. So this wee switch here, you can desolder that and solder it onto the UGC and the lid will function. So you open the lid, close the lid, the image is swapped. Now, currently there is an issue. Um, it doesn't work in games. So for instance Shenmue 2 or D2, when you get to the prompt where it says insert this to, if you open and close the lid, it doesn't load. Um, 
the image has swapped it's just the game doesn't load it, it doesn't do anything with it now hopefully this will be fixed in the newer firmware soon if not it's no big deal because Shenmue all all multiple disc games allow you to save and then load the disc from or load the save from the next disc the only game that doesn't is D2 unfortunately you need the swap feature for D2 um, but unless you play that game and you like it I, it's a strange game um, I'm not really too fussed so it doesn't concern me so much but if you really want to play it then you're going to need the swap feature to function um, the swap feature does work with cheap discs so what I mean by that is cheap disc is Codebreaker, GameShark, Action Replay if you're here in the UK uh, we got Action Replay in America they got GameShark uh, I think we also got Codebreaker here in the UK um, but as you can see I've added text there saying please select the swap image first use the X button to select the swap image you use the X button to select the swap image so I will use what will I use uh, let's use arrow wings so excuse me um, normally what you do is you would press the A button to load the game but we don't want to load it, we want to add it to the swap list press X and you can see down the bottom here it's now been added to the swap list now I say a list, it's just one entry down here but you can have multiple images so if I selected another image and pressed X it would appear down here but this image would load first and then the next one would load and then the next one would load if I selected one and then the next one and so forth um, I've tried 10 consecutive images and they've all loaded so I don't know what the limit is it could be a lot more than 10 um, but now that we have a swap image we now select Codebreaker and that's a .cdi file as you can see it works so killing two birds with one stone here showing you swap, disk swapping and CDI support so we select cheats, arrow wing, start start game, we open the lid game, the game of the, the, the application is registered at the drive the disk is open, or the tray is open, the lid is open close it and it loads the game now this is how it should work within games but it doesn't Now, a side effect to image the image swap feature is, which I like, um, I assume it's intended, it might not be, but I actually quite like it. If you open and close the lid, and there's no more images in the list, it will take you back to the UGC menu. So to me this is handy um, for say you know if you've got an arcade cabinet and you've got a Dreamcast in it you could load multiple images and then when you get to the you just use one wee button to switch images and when you get to the end you can go back to the main menu and then select more and just repeat or you could just power it on and off depends it's up to you um, another feature is region 3 you can toggle that on and off and obviously the menu has now been updated to a higher resolution so you can see more text stuff isn't cut off anymore uh, right so that's really can it I suppose I could show you me loading an oversized CDI file so here we have Shenmue 2 English dubbed and this is an oversized CDI uh, it's just over one gigabyte in size so I will select that now 
Now, if you were on whatever the saying is, I don't, I can't remember the saying, but on the edge of your seat, you know, kind of, you were wanting to buy one, but you needed a reason to buy one. Um, I would say now buy one. A hundred and thirty-seven euros, I think it is. So you're talking about a hundred pounds for the device in the UK, maybe just under, depending on the exchange rate, or just over. Um, if you really like your Dreamcast, I'd advise buying one. Uh, it's extremely easy to fit. The only hard part would be soldering, desoldering, and resoldering the switch. Yeah, it does that sometimes with audio there. Um, it's resoldering the switch onto the device so that the swapping works. But like I said, you could just use two wires, poke them through the holes, and sellotape them in place. Um, but buy one. If you love Dreamcast, buy one. Um, also, if you love Dreamcast, I suggest replacing the power supply with a Pico PSU. Um, it's a lot more efficient. It doesn't produce a lot of heat and you can also reduce the fan speed to 3.3 volts. So your Dreamcast is quieter and you've got super speed loading from the U uh, the USB GD-ROM controller. And here's English. Now if you've played the CDI version, the 700 megabyte one, you know what the audio's like. It's like, as if somebody's talking out of a bin. Muffled, compressed to hell. So, yeah, like I said, get your Pico PSU and I'll put a link in the description to the thread and the Assembler, game, the Assembler Games forums with images and other people posting their mod of it and stuff like that. Um, I highly recommend UGC and also I highly recommend replacing the power supply. That way your Dreamcast will last a hell of a lot longer. Um, so that's really good. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully you found this video informative and I hope you get one and I hope you enjoy it because I sure as hell do. So thanks and bye bye.